This conference will this now be recorded. Hi, good morning. In this tutorial, we will learn how to display the tabular data using HTML table tag. So here we discussed about the HTML tables here. The HTML tables. So here HTML table allows you to arrange the data in rows and columns. Here they commonly use it to display the tabular data like product list like we can use the customer details like this we can give the stable html tables this table is is used to store the data so here we can create the tables using the table element so here this is a table element we can create this table using table tag so after that in the table we having tr tr indicates tr stands for table row here tr is a stands for table row and this table having the table data inside of a row we can keep the data here so we can use the td td stands for table data sometimes we can use the th also th indicates that table head here how do you create the table here so creating a table is very easy so using this table tag table tag and table tag close table tag close so instead of table we can give so we can give here the tr and tr close so instead of the tr we can write the table data here okay here we can write the table data so like this we can create the table in the html so the table in the html it stands for like it will store the data here now we just open this visual studio just open this visual studio we just see the example for this table here so how can you create the table so here i'm just creating the basic table here now we just created a program here i'm just saving the program so here i'm just saving with table dot html this is a html table so for this html table just created this one so here i'm just giving this title here so i'm just giving the title html table now we need to create a table here for this html we need to create table here so for this table so here we just create a table here i'm just creating a table so table table close after the table we need to give so here tr tr and inside of that we can give the td here look at this one so we just created the table if you run this one on the browser see nothing will display here why because we just created the table itself so we just created the table itself but we didn't give the borders but we didn't give the height and width for the tables here so look at this one here so we can give the height and a width and border how can you take this border and height and width for these tables here here look at this one i'm just writing the border so border i'm just giving the border two pixels next we having i'm just giving the width so width equal to i'm just giving the width as 300 400 i'm taking i'm just giving the width as 400 i'm taking the height so here i'm taking the height like 400 for width and height 400 now you can give the border as two right i'm just reduce it to one here now we can refresh on this browser so there you got the table here see look at this one there you got the table here like this we can having the basic table here i just reduce this table of width 200 i reduce the height also 200 so what will happen if you give the border as a two here see if you give the two they will give the two lines of borders see look at this one so if you refresh this one see there you get the thickness here so if you give the five pixels if you give the five pixels so look at this one if you refresh this one so there you get the thick color border like this so there you got thick color border like this so look at this one so this is a table tag so here we just give the h1 h1 basic table so basic table here i am taking the basic table so for this basic table just here so they're having the tr and td here look at this one very first this one so the basic table indicates that this is a whole data will be table data and this one is called this is called 
table row here. Like this, the table have the structure in the HTML. Look at this one. We just created the table here. We just created the table. In that, in that a table, in the table, so we need to create multiple rows and multiple columns. So here, how do you create the multiple rows and multiple columns in the table? Look at this one. So we're just creating the only one row here. Next, we have to take so multiple multiple rows and columns. So here I'm taking this H1. H1. So here we just take the multiple. multiple rows and columns multiple rows and columns for this multiple rows and columns we just take the table here so here i'm taking the table inside of table we just create in the tr so tr and td so we just creating the td here look at this one so we just created a table table here and tr here now see look at this one if you run this one on the browser there you get same output so here first we need to give see i'm just giving for this table we need to give the border we need to set the border here so i'm setting this border 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 equal to so we can give the three here after that we just give height and width here we just give the height so height i'm taking the 400 and just we can take 300 itself not a problem so here we just give the bit tells 300 so with i'm taking the 300 so we can also take the height and width using the style tag also so here i'm just taking the height and width now we can refresh this one on the browser just we can refresh this one look at this one they're having multiple rows and multiple columns as a heading but here the table having only one row itself so we need to create few more rows. So for creating the rows here, look at this one. We just copy this TRs, we just copy this TRs and paste it here. So look at this one and paste it. Here I'm taking the two TRs. Now I'm taking the three TRs. Look at this one. If you refresh this one on the browser, if you refresh this one on this, so there you get the multiple rows here, multiple rows here. So here for this multiple rows. So here we need to, we need to add multiple columns also look at these columns columns are taken as a tds here so for this td so here we have a tds right so each row having only one td itself so here we just give one more td here i'm taking the copy as one more td so here also i'm taking one more td so here also i'm taking one more td here now you can refresh this one so here i'm just taking one more td now we can refresh this one on the browser look at this one so first we having only rows here we just refresh this one on the browser so look at this one they are having the one column here one column so like each row having two tds like two two table data see here there are they're having the three rows on each row having two tds two tds two tds so we need to add one more columns we need to add one more column so here we just copy this column. So we just take the TDs here. I just copy this TD also. In the down, we just go go here and we can copy this one. So here we just copy this one. If you run this one on the browser, there you get one more column. So here. We just refresh this one on the browser. Look at this one. So there you get the two columns. So there you get two columns here. Like this, we can create this. So like this, we can create the multiple rows and columns in the tables here. Now, so for this table, so we just create the table. We just created the table rows, columns here. Look at this one. So here, I need to spanning the columns. We need to span the columns. Spanning means we can adjust it. We can mix the two columns. We can mix the table to two rows. So here for spanning of the columns and columns and rows here. So look at this one. The table we having call span, call span, and row span here. 
these two call span and row span these two we have these two attributes these two attributes in the tables having that it tells the it tells the tables like we can span the two columns we can span the two rows using this call span and row span here so look at this one so i'm just open this visual uh, ms paint here i'm just open the ms paint look at this one so have you seen the table right so how to create the table so using border width and height using the table tag so here i'm just draw this table here look at this one so i'm just draw this table this table having so here i can i'm taking the rectangle so here i'm taking the rectangle so after that i'm taking this i'm changing this color for this one see look at this one so they're having they're having look at this one so they're having here so we can create this one also using these they're having the two rows each row having the td and td now look at this one i'm just taking this line here so we just draw this line here look at this one so how can you possible to create this type using in a, how can you possible how can you create these tables using the html look at this one in the above they're spanning the two columns they're spanning the two columns here so for the spanning the two columns so here we need to create so first spanning of this column so here first we can go for this call span let's just write the h1 here so spanning spanning multiple rows multiple rows and multiple rows and columns for spanning of this column so we can use this call span here i'm taking the h2 as a, i'm taking the call span so call span here for this call span we need to create the table here first we can create the table so here creating the table in that we can take the trs so in this in this tr we can take the tds here so i'm taking the tr and td here now we can run this one on the browser so before going to run we can give the border itself so here i'm border i'm taking two so here we just give the height and width here width i'm taking 300 or i can take a uh, width i'm taking the 300 so height i'm taking the 200 itself height we just give we just give 200 now we can run this one on the browser so look at this one if you run this one on the browser see look at this one so spanning go multiple rows and columns so here we can use the call span look at this one so here we just created a we just created the two rows here so in this below row like in this below row they having one more column here so one more column we just copy this one so if you run this one on the browser so look at this one if you run this one on the browser so if you run this one on the browser this below row having the two tds in the above row having only one td itself so we need to spanning this we need to spanning these columns the entire width so here what i have to done is for this first first two data for this first table data for the first column we should write like call span so here they're having the two TDs, right? So here we having the two TDs. So for two TDs, we need to write here two. So what is the meaning of this call span two means? It will merge the, it will span the two columns. Why because two columns? So here we having the two columns. Suppose here they're having the three columns. Itself. They're having the three columns. So here we need to give the three here. So I'm just removing this one. So we need only two columns. So here, we just copy the, we just refresh this one so look at this one we just created this one look at this ms paint so we just created this here so like this we can create the call span now you can go for the row span here so i just uh, look at this one i'm just see i'm just taking the row span so for this row span i'm selecting this rectangle here so here we just draw the rectangle so look at this one I'm just to drag this rectangle look at this one now we can draw this i'm just selecting this one 
we understood all this one. So look at this one. We can span across this rows here. How to span across this rows here? How to span across this rows? Now we just open. So we just copy this one. So I'll just copy this hand tag H2. So this I just copy this table and paste it here. Paste it. So here for this here we just write we just write rows span. So rows span. We need to write row span. So for row span, how will you create a row span here? So you look at this one. So here I'm just I'm just removing this one. So they're having the two rows. So you look at this one, just giving so here for these two rows, we need to give here, so just giving here like a row span, row span two here. Now we can run this one on the browser. See, look at this one. We just created the row span here. So if you want to this side, if you want to this side, so we just cut this one and you can paste it here. We just paste it here. Now you can refresh this one. See, look at this one. They're having this side. See, look at this MS span. We just created the row span. So like this, we can create the row span in the row span. We can span in the multiple rows and columns in the table itself. See? Next. So we need to. So how do you create table data? So how do you insert the table data? So here, inserting the data. So inserting the data in table here. How can you inserting the data in the table? Now, while inserting the data, we just uh, taking them. I'm just taking the table here. So I'm just taking H1, H1 to inserting, inserting table data. So inserting the table data. So here we need to create the table. Table. So I'm just creating the table. So for this table, so here I'm just writing align equal to center. So it gives that align equal to center. So here you just use the width here. So width I'm just giving. I'm taking the width as 600. And I'm taking the height. I'm taking the height here. So height, I'm just giving 700 or else we can give 500. Now look at this one. So how can you insert the data in the table? So for this table, we just write TR. So in this TR, we can write the TD. So here, instead of taking the TD, we can also take the TH also. Here I'm taking the TH. TH, I'm just taking the serial number. So what is the advantage of TH means? It means table head. By default, it's in the center position. So here I'm taking, I'm taking serial number. So I'm taking the serial number. Just listen. So after that, so here I'm just taking the TH. So in TH name, I'm just giving the name here. Name. And I'm taking one more, one more TH. So here I'm taking one more TH. For this th, we just write, we just write email here. Just write email. So email. Look at this one. Tr th. Now here I'm just taking one more tr. So the the th having the three three columns, right? So for this three columns, we're taking the tds. So first column having the serial number, I'm taking the one here. I'm taking one here. So I'm just copying this one. I'm taking the two here. So here for this name, I'm just give some robot. So I'm just giving the name as a robot. So here we have, so we have a T. So I'm just giving the robot uh, a robot. I'm taking 356 other gmail.com. Gmail. Now we just created a mail here. If you run this one on the browser, 
just refresh this. Uh, we can run this one on the browser. Look at this one. So go to this browser. Just refresh this browser. So they're having the date table. So with the data here. So look at this one. They're having the table with the data. So here, what's happening here means. So we're just giving the we're just giving the table itself, but we didn't give the table border. So here I'm just giving the table border. So I'm taking the border. So I'm just giving the border equal to two here. Now, so we just run this one on the browser. Look at this one. If you run this one, so the table having, so it will take the entire entire width. It will occupy. So here we have only one record is there. So we need to enter. We need to enter so much of records here. So I just copy this one. We just copy this one. So here we just paste it. We can take more records. We just paste it here. So here I'm taking. I just copy this one. So I'm taking so much of records. So I just insert this multiple records here. So look at this one. I'm just inserting multiple records. So I'm taking a few more. So I'm taking few more. Now we can run this one on the browser. See, look at this one. So you are inserting the multiple data here. Look at this one. They're having. So if you want to make this center, if you want to make this center, see, look at this one. So we have. So if you want to make this center, we have. We have right. We need to write. Align equal to center. So look at this one. The table TRs having likely we can having 10 TRs is there. So it is difficult to write for the 10 TRs Align equal to center. But we have the CSS property that we can take the here. We just take it. So we have a CSS property. So here I'm taking. Look at this one. So here I'm taking. So I'm just taking style tag. This is the internal style sheet. For this internal style sheet, I'm taking TR. So for this TR, we need to write. So for this TR, so we need to write here text align center. So I'm just writing the text align center. Now we can refresh this one on the browser. So you look at this one. If you refresh this one on the browser, so on the TR, it will make the center. So like this, we can we can insert the data, inserting the table data. So we can move this table to center position right we just remove this table here we just remove the center position we don't want the center position here so for making the center we can use the align center now you can refresh this one so look at this one for inserting the table data here look at this one so we need to give caption for this table we need to give caption for the table so here so for caption for the table we have used uh, in this available life. We have a caption tag, so we have caption tag. So caption tag is to give the table caption, to give the caption for the table here. Look at this one. In this caption, we need to write for the customer details. So we just write the customer details here. So here, we just write the customer details. So here, I'll just write. So, or else we can write the student detail. Student detail. Now we can run this one on the browser. We just refresh on this browser. So there you get caption here. Like this, we can get the caption for the table here. This table having. So we have a table having specific define the uh, like table having the specific structure. So what are the structures can follow the table here? So table structure it follows so how can you follow the table structure so here i'm just open this so for following the table structure so we have so table table head table head we have we head t head stands for table head so here we have the body so it specifies that the the table having this layout like Table following a table structure level. So here, if so, like this, the table having this structure. So here, I'm just open this Visual Studio. 
So here we just need we need to create table structure here. So for this table structure, so here I'm just taking here I'm just taking the H1. So we have table structure. Structure. For this table structure, how can you follow this table structure? Just write that table here. So table So table here. So for this table, we just write we just write border border I'm writing one. So here we just give height height 300 and also you can take the height equal to 400 so we just write width equal to so here we just write width equal to 500 now we just create the tr so instead of tr we can create the th here. for this th i'm taking that th here so here i'm just giving the name so here I'm just giving the subject, subject, and here we just give the marks here, marks here. So look at this one. This tr can be placed inside of this structure. So here I'm taking the t head. So t head. In this t head, I just cut this tr. Just cut this tr. We just cut this tr and paste it inside of this t head. Paste it inside of t head here. Now we need to create the table body here. So for this table body, we we'll create the T body here. Instead of T body, we need to create TR. So here for this TR, I'm just creating the TD. So why? Because we're having three TDs here. So we're having three TDs. For three TDs, so here we just give name as William. So we just give the name as William and subject so i'm just copying this one so here they have a subject subject i'm taking the english here so i'm taking english so william got the mark 90 or else he got the 90 here 90 now i just take the record and fill it to 10 records here. I'm just giving 10 records. Just paste this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I just fill in 10 records. So after the body, you just give the T food here. So in this T food, I'm just giving. So total. So here I'm just giving the TD. So in this TD, there you got total. So here we just giving. I'm taking one more TD. So I'm just giving all here. Total mark. So here we just give the grade as A, and we take the TD here. For this TD, just right here, I'm just giving 900. Now we can run this one on the browser. So just run this one on the browser. So for this table, we can add the table structure. So here, we just run this one on the browser. Look at this one. So if we refresh this one, and go down here. So look at this one. The table having, this table having the structure, like name, subject, and marks here. So like this, we can create the stable structure here. So like this, we can create table structure. So for this table structure is created, right? So we having for the tables, we having one more concepts like so cell cell padding and cell spacing. So how can you create this cell padding and cell spacing? See, look at this one. So I'm just taking here. So I'm taking this one. So cell padding. 
for the cell padding cell padding here what is meant by cell padding what is the difference between cell padding and cell spacing padding means inner space inner space so cell padding means the padding between this content and the border is a cell padding cell means inside of table we can place the cell so instead of we can take the tds right we can call it as a table cell here so how can you create the cell padding and cell spacing here i'm taking the table you look at this one i'm just taking the table here so table i'm taking the tr so instead of tr i'm taking the tds so i just taking the three tds here so here again we take the tr so instead of that we can take the three tds so i'm just copy this one i'm taking the three tds now here for this one we just apply border so we just apply the border border equal to one so for this border i'm just giving up one here so after that i'm just taking this width here so width we just take the width as 400 so height i'm taking the 400 height i'm taking the 400 here now look at this one if you run this one on the browser we just run this one on the browser so go to the browser and refresh this one we look at this one we go down here so there you got the cell padding here what is going to be padding here look at this one i didn't give the height and width for this table i just removing this one so here i just remove this height and width here we just remove this height and width so we just remove this one so we just we just remove this one look at this one if we run this one on the browser run this one on the browser so look at this one the table having nothing here it will display small here so in this one i'm just giving this here i'm just taking the cell padding cell padding here for the cell padding we just give 40 pixels or else 50 pixels i'm just giving the 50 pixels here so look at this one So look at this one, we just refresh this one. See, this means it will increase the padding here. So here we just increase this padding, open this visible studio, we just increase this padding to here, I'm just giving 90 pixels. So we just refresh this one. So you got this one, there you got 90 pixels padding. That is, it will increase the inner space here. What is meant by cell spacing, cell spacing. So here, I just mention, cell spacing cell spacing also cell spacing cell spacing means space between the cells space between the cells we can call it as cell spacing so here i'm taking cell spacing cell spacing equal to so i'm taking the 40 pixels now we can run this one on the browser if you run this one on the browser so look at this one if you refresh this one so there you got the space here so evenly there you get the space for these tables so like this, we can apply the cell padding and cell spacing here. Now, so here we just created this one, right? Cell padding and cell spacing. So how can you apply the background colors for the table cell? How can you apply the color for table cell? So here applying the color for table cell. So we just copy this, we just copy this and paste it here. Now we just write, Applying the applying the color for table cell. Applying the color for table cell here. So applying the color for table cell. How can you apply the color for table cell? Look at this one. So in this TR, we're just giving the style tag. So I'm taking the style tag here. So in this style tag, we can give the background color. Background color. So look at this one, I'm just giving the blue here. Now you can refresh this one. If you like the style for this TR, what will happen? It will take down, see, if you refresh this one, go down here. See, look at this one. There you get all the, all the TDs will be taken as blue color. So if you don't want to like this, so we need to give the different different colors for giving the different different colors so here we can take this inline style 
So here we can take the inline style. In the style, we can write the background, background color, and we can write quarter. Now we just take one more, one more style in the inside of TD. We can take one more style. So here I'm just writing the background color. Background, background color. So instead of color, we can write dark green. Next we can take style tag. So we can take the style. So background color. So here I'm taking a dark. So we just run this one on the rows. Look at this one. So like this we can create. So we can create the boxes here. So we just remove this border here. We just remove the border. Look at this one. It's look like we just remove this border. Just refresh this one. So look at this one. We are creating the table cells. So for this table, we can use we can create the layouts also. So for creating the layers, table is not at all recommended. So we can use the div tags. We can use the division tags creating the table here. So for this table, we have a one more concept is that is the inner tables. How can you create the inner tables? This inner tables will help to create the a lot of like uh, we can create the we just show in the next class. We can continue to show that uh, like how to create the calendar using the table tag. So here we have the call group is there. So look at this one. So we need to apply the rows. We need to apply the rows for this color. So what about the columns? What about the columns? We can up, we want to apply the columns as a similar color. For the two columns, we need to apply the similar color. What will happen? So here, look at this one. So it will apply the color for only the rows. So what is the syntax for writing down? What is the syntax for writing the columns to applying the similar color? So here we have for the similar colors. So we have a call group is it? Call group is a call group is a tag which will give the similar color for columns. So it just so here I'm just writing down H1. So I'm just writing the H1. For this H1, I'm just applying. Applying the call group. So applying the call group here. So call group, I just take in the table. So table we just write the so here we just write the table we just write the border. So in this border we can write like but I just give the three pixels. So here we just give so height. I'm taking the height, height as uh, 400, and I'm taking the width, so width as I'm taking the 300 here. Look at this one, I'm taking the height and width 300 and 400. Now, so here we just created the TR tag. So in this TR tag, we can create the table data. I'm just copying these three data here. So, sorry, just copy this table data now just copy this one we just copy this tr so here i need to create a so 10 rows so we just create the 10 rows here so copy this one and paste it here so i'm just make it into 10 rows so here i just take just copy this one now so we can run this one on the browser you can run this one on the browser. Look at this one. So if you run this one on the browser, we go down here. So they're having they're having the table here. For this table, so we need to apply the similar color for these two rows. The remaining will be different color. So look at this one. For applying these two similar color, what will happen? So here, see. So if you want to apply this uh, similar color, so look at this one. One, one column, two column three, four, five, six. So like this, we need to apply, we need to write the styles for 20 times to avoid the problem, to avoid this one. So we have call group is there. So we have call group is there. So how to apply the call group here? Just 
here just go to here just write take the call group so just a call group here call group close inside of this call group we can take the column here in this call we can specify the span tag the span indicated that how many columns do you want to apply the color here so for this span you just write i'm just writing the two here two is that we can span the two two columns and giving the color so here is a simple we just write the style tag inside of style tag we can give the background color so we can apply the background color so here i'm just taking the orange orange red so i'm just creating the orange red now remaining columns so there are the three columns right so remaining column one for this remaining column we just write we take the call here and we can take the style tag here we just write the background color green here we just write the background color green here now we can run this one on the browser so look at this one if we run this one on the browser see there you got the so there you got the column group so like this we having the column group in the table so like this we can apply the multi uh, same color for columns and the remaining color we can set for whatever it is so like this we can apply the call group in the html tables so here for the tables we having we have a rule system so rule attribute what is the use of this rule attributes this rules so rules rule is an attribute used in the html this html table tag rule attribute is used to specify that so which 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 part you want like which part inside of this borders should be visible like you can visible on this uh, rows none group like this so here we have a values like so we have a values like none here so we just write none we can write the groups we can write the rows rows we can write the calls columns call is columns and we can write the all here so like this we having them like this we having the values in the rule set how can you take this rules here look at this one none it does not create a any type if you write the rules equal to none it does not create any type here if you write a rules equal to groups it create the lines between rows and column group it will create the rows and column group if you write the rows here if you write the rows here it creates the line between the rows and if you write the columns it will create the line between the columns if you write the all means it will create the line between rows and columns just we can see the example for this table so how can you apply this rules in the table itself because this one go down here we just taking the rules here so here i'm taking the h1 so for this h1 setting setting up rules attribute rule attribute so for this rules attribute so here i'm just taking the table so for this table we just give the we just give the border so we just taking the border so i'm taking the one here so after that i'm taking the width and height width i need a 300 or else we can give the 200 and height i need 200 height i need 200 so here we just type 200 look at this one so inside of this one we just create the tr so we need a tr here after that we need to td so in this i'm just creating the td here is i'm just giving the name so name i'm just taking here so here I'm just giving the x y z. So here I'm just give x y z gmail dot com. So just at the rate gmail dot com. So I'm just providing this one. I just copy this trs. We just copy this trs. Look at this one. We just copy this trs and paste it here and paste it here. Now we just paste it here. For this one, we just created. We just pasted here. If we run this one on the browser, look at this one. If we run this one on the browser, see the table having setting up the rules attribute. The table having the width and so sorry, with, uh, table having the border here. I just remove this border here. We just remove the border. I don't want to set the border here. Now just remove the border. If we run this one on the browser, 
we just run this one on the browser so look at this one we we'll just highlight this one see look at this one if you go down here so table having look at this one table having nothing border here so for this setting the border so here we told you that so we have the rules right so here i'm just taking the rules here so here i'm taking the rule so rules equal to so here i'm taking i'm taking groups here groups so if you run this one on the browser so nothing will display right so we just give the so here or rows rows here so if you run this one so you look at this one if you run this one here so there you get the rows here so if you run this if you remove this one so we have columns columns or else we can do calls calls here now we just run this one on the browser so you look at this one there you got the column here so there you got column here so if you want all so if you want all here so we just write go to here so here we just write all here we just write all we can take all here yes we can refresh this one so you look at this one they mention columns and rows so like this they are having here so the uh, this tables for this tables we just created uh, like we want to create some background some like like we can create the backgrounds we can create them like we can create the background image we can place the text on it using this table tag itself so here i'm just take, look at this one i'm just taking table here so so next i'm just taking the new program so just giving table background so i'm just taking the table background so here so we're taking so here was we just save it save as a file so here we can save with html save this one now we just give so here we just give table by like banner text we need to create a banner text we using table banner so i just give banner here so i'm just taking the table table instead of table we just take the tr so here we just provide the td itself now for this table we just give it so here i'm taking the border so we, just, we don't want this border here i'm taking the width so width i'm taking or else if you want to give the in the instead so look at this one so i'm just removing this one so here so we just we just take the internal style sheet so here i'm just taking the internal style sheet i'm taking the table tag this is a tag selector so for this table tag we need to write board like so here so here i'm just giving width so width i need 100 percent so it will occupy the 100 percent i'm just taking the height height so height i'm taking the 500 pixels now here i'm just giving the background color background background color so for this background color we just give so i'm just taking the indigo now we can run this one on the browser so look at this one so there you get the background here so for this background we need to give some text here so inside of td we just give the h1 so i'm taking the h1 so here welcome welcome to hello or else you can write cool nature i'm just write cool nature so for this cool nature we need to apply the style to this one so first we need to run this one on the browser so if you run this one on the browser look at this one so there is that there you get the text here so for this text we just write here so here i'm just writing the text align center text align center 
now you can refresh this one on the browser look at this one so there you get the text here for this text we need to write so we need to write some styles here i'm just writing the h1 for this h1 so here i'm writing the color color white here so color i'm writing the white color now we just apply the font size just apply the font size font size i'm taking 60 pixels also you can take uh, 70 and we can take the font weight font weight font weight 900 800 now we just run this one on the browser just run this one on the browser look at this one so they're having the text so like this we can create the text so just create a text using the table tag so in the next class we we should learn how to apply the like background image so how can you create the inner inner list like inner tables how can you create the inner tables